Props voor de huisdrokken. En de watska Watska busy busy rob rob. Mensen praten serieus. Maar ze weten van geen ene kanker hoe wat gebeurt. Maar er gebeurt veel serieus. Komen die vokalen of hoe moet ik beginnen? Je bent een shit, kijk dat soort man. Je weet niet wat gebeurt. There's no money in this industry. And when people say cool, it's cool that we're underground, I say fuck that. My name is Arlo Eisenberg, and you are watching Black Market. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the one and only. <laughs> Taking care of plenty, plenty of business, fantastically, out of groovy sight. And we're about ready to have a party. <laughs> you people are all trying to achieve the impossible. That's exactly what we've done. But you'll fail, and you'll all die, if we die. The next generation will fight them too, and the one after them, for as long as they must. Underground is the sound of rebirth, so my turf keeps me locked down with the god sound under earth. While I'm destined for the sky, and a nigh is the target, still I can't escape the black market. It's like a virus. Tired of classes that go on and on in the middle of the day. Don't fuck with that shit. You don't even fuck with the TV in the middle of the day. Stay focused and knock your shit out. Figure exactly what you want to do and make it happen. The technique depends mainly on arm and finger strength. Once you've that, then the next step is to learn how to pierce
I'm flying into Barcelona from London. I'm supposed to meet Doug and everybody at the airport. And uh, my plane ends up getting in like four and a half hours late. No one has a cell phone or any way to get in touch with them. They only know what time I'm supposed to get there and they don't even know what airline. So first of all, I show up at the airport and don't even know if they're gonna be there or not. So I'm walking out, I get my bags, coming through baggage claim, and just walking outside praying they're gonna be there. And then sure enough, I'm looking around the faces and then finally see everybody. And so that was a relief just to start things off. And then Doug decides to break the news to me that all our places to stay have already fell through. We don't have any place to stay, so we're all gonna stay at this hostel. And we're all super low on a budget anyway, but the first thing you have to do is go sell out money and stay at a hostel. Barcelona. Same shit. This is country. Well, Julian decided to try the Superman stunt, first trick of the tour. He doesn't even do another trick. He doesn't warm up. He doesn't do anything. He just tries like the biggest disasters, breaks himself. It's one of those situations where you're kind of nervous because you know you have this whole tour ahead of you and it's, it's this huge stunt and you, like, you want to make sure. It's so sick and you want him to land it, but at the same time, you're like, wow, if he gets hurt, it's going like, to be the whole tour. So sure enough, first try, he just locks on perfect and slides out and everybody's like, oh my god, he can actually do this. And then he tries again and again, but then I think the fourth try, he jumps again and just, his whole sole foot misses, he lands right on his hip, there's like a 20 stair gap to his hip, and his whole body just collapses. And I don't know, that was pretty rough, because it's the first trick of the tour to be out of commission, we were pretty worried about it, but yeah. it took about three days, just didn't do anything, just kind of limped around. And he was hurt, and he could, you know, hurt him to walk, hurt him to come out, but he would still come out with a swimming session, he'd come film or hang out or lie on the ground in pain or whatever, but it was like that for the first few days, and then sure enough, like he was still hurt, he tried to go out and skate, and he would skate until he got hurt. He would try a few tricks, even if it, was, it hurt him, it was hard, and he'd do it until he fell, and then sure enough, every day he would get a trick or two, and then hit his hip again, and just be dead. And just... Okay, so here's a daily update right now, we're on day five. Julian's already pretty much out of commission, and we're also pretty much out of money right now. We've been staying at a hostel, living it up a little bit for the last couple of days, but that costs money, and since we're out of money, we kind of have no place to go after tonight. So as of 11 in the morning tomorrow, we have no place to live. We'll probably be out here on the streets nearby, so maybe we can find somebody to rob. Yeah, we're just chilling in the park, taking in the nice scenery and the, the air. A run. Kind of homeless right now. Uh, we met Gustavo from Mexico City and he hooked us up with another place. We ended up actually renting a flat in Barcelona. Where else in the world do you still live on the skeleton key? Right here. Come on. Which was the best place to possibly stay there. And so we all had our own room. We had a kitchen, bathroom. We basically had a, just an apartment down downtown Barcelona. So one of the best spots probably in the whole tour to stay at after all. Our eating area with the 14 karat gold tablecloth. It's for royalty. It's for royalty. Where do you guys want to go today? Mont Bao? You want to go to some kink rails, some transfer rails? Let's find out. Oh, okay, Mont Bao. We're going to take the line four to line three. Boom, right there. Fourth exit. Perfect. Any spot you want to go, right here. Just check the map. Let's check out what's in the fridge. Only the best. Oh, it smells beautiful. We got a piece of sausage. We've got some half opened corn. This is luxury right here, I'm telling you. We got Doug juggling the eggs like it's nothing. Whoa! Oh, he's switching okay. it up! Oh! Oh, no, we got an egg down. Think of all the things you could cook in this pan. Look at this. You could cook a family of eight for spaghetti in this pan right here, dude. I can't get over how good this place is. Simply amazing. Barcelona is notorious for thieves, and it's, it's just true. It's just how it goes there. Okay, giving a recap of what just happened here. Doug is officially the luckiest man alive to have his bag back right now. Brent and Will are skating this nice little perfect Barcelona marble ledge right here. We see this crazy guy, blue shirt, white hat. He walks up, he starts saying, hey, look at this over here, over here, over here. You know, and we're freaking stupid gringos, so we're falling for his distraction. So, we're, you know, these guys are over here trying to figure out what this guy's pointing at, talking all crazy. Next thing you know, he's gone. 
And this guy comes running out. He's like, oh, your bag, your bag, your bag, your bag. We had the whole thing on film. Doug's filming the guy who's robbing us. And the other guy steals the bags. But I, I still can't believe we got everything back. And... We just took every side street, every corner, got the cops, jammed all over the streets of Barcelona. I caught him back in the alleyway down there. Lucky it was two of them. I had to knock both of them out. I got Doug's bag off his back. I found Brent's bag by the trash can. Sure enough, he gets Doug's bag back, he gets Brent's bag back, and if we hadn't got him back, it would have been horrible. It was their passports, Doug's new lens, all the footage. Now everybody always tells you, you know, watch your bags out there, be careful, you know, there are thieves everywhere, and it's true. I mean, everybody got robbed in Barcelona. And we got robbed multiple times, and I mean, with the bags, like, yeah, we're lucky enough to get everything back, but then, you know, later, Brent still, his watch gets stolen, Brent loses, like, 40 euros, and Doug, is on the train, he gets pickpocketed, and I'm out in the street, and I get robbed from an MP3 player, like 500 euros, and all my credit cards, and all that kind of stuff, and as it happens, go to the casino and start playing roulette, try to win money back. <laughs> Horrible. I mean, you're on a budget to start with, and then half your money's gone anyways, so it's not the best way to start the tour. Brent's birthday was fun, because we tried to throw a little surprise party in, inside the flat, that's really all we had, and we didn't have any decorations, so we just took toilet paper and threw toilet paper all over the room and we got him a bottle of whiskey. Nightlife in Barcelona is definitely good. It's just, it's pricey, and everybody on tour is on such a crazy budget. We'd show up at a bar and just try to order a drink, and, you know, let me get whiskey and Coke, and like asking 10 euros for a whiskey and Coke. It's like, you can buy a bottle of whiskey at the store down the street for five euros. <laughs> Transportation's way better in Europe, I think. I mean, I like it so much better. You can. If it's not a spot you can just skate to, you can just hop on the metro, you can just, I mean, Barcelona is a city where you can just get on the metro, guess around, say, okay, I'm gonna get off here, and then you get out, and there's just stuff to skate, no matter what, at every metro stop, every little village, everything in Barcelona is skatable. Um, I mean, you, you can just go, you can go through the city and get lost, you can just roll through, grab onto a bus, go off and find stuff, um, you know, sketch on taxis, sketch on buses, cars. Cut his wings up. It's me, gotcha. When you're trying to hang out outside with more bags than you can handle, it's pretty sketchy anyway. So we're at the beach with tons of bags. We're trying to tie them together and lock them together because we already got robbed once anyways. And, but we just kicked them on the beach, just flew some kites. Brent took his, uh, his new camera out and just tried to sneak candid photos of topless women on the beach. So at the flat, the last night that we're there, everything's been going good for a week and you know we're, we're still able to be loud, we're able to party up there. But the last night, they rent out the empty hostel room to this other family. So there's a family with a wife and baby and everything. And so they're staying in this other room and we're all trying to live it up on our last night. And we're throwing stuff off the balcony onto tourists and all sorts of stuff. You wanna get her? And it's <laughs> so it ends up, I guess Brent and Julian go out and come home super wasted. <laughs> you all over your pants. <laughs> and end up breaking the window inside their apartment. In the meantime, we already had six people staying in our flat and we only told the lady that we had four people in there. So then they bust in in the morning and find out that we actually have way more people. And so we try to like hide everybody in the other rooms and they end up catching us. So we have to end up paying extra for everybody who was staying there. We're busted, we're out of here, we're off to Zurich. I try to tell everybody, you know, we're going to so many spots, we're going to be traveling and we're going to be on the road so much that just try to pack as light as possible to make it easy. And I guess Will shows up with his body bag of clothes and he's like, yeah, I just didn't think I wanted to do any laundry, so I just brought a shirt for every day of the tour. <laughs> Doug's been talking to this girl, Kim. He's like, yeah, I don't know, this girl, Kim, had emailed me and said, yeah, it's fine, you can stay at my place. So everybody's like, all right, yeah, I'll stay with this girl in Zurich. 
And so we get off the train in Zurich and they're holding a sign that says Miss Lady Media, but it turns out that Kim is a man, not a woman. But no, Kim was awesome, man. Kim was like probably the nicest person I met like the whole time in Europe. He hooked everything up. It's not that he just lets us stay there. He wants us to be more comfortable, so he just he stays at a friend's house and just gives us the keys to his flat and is just like, here, make yourself at home, you know? I know it was, it was ridiculous. His roommate had like all these weed plants and Julian didn't have a spot to sleep. And so at night, Julian would go out on the balcony and sleep outside in a sleeping bag surrounded in these weed plants. Zurich was a quick stop, but I mean, it went really well. The scene in Zurich is really, really good. We'd show up at a spot and there'd be like 30, 40 kids just trying to go out in session, which it's kind of like a love-hate thing. It's good and bad because it's awesome to hang out and skate with everybody, but I mean, it's definitely harder to get stuff done. Julian goes to Alley of Topsoil, the legend university there. And like, first thing the next day, it's on a post in BMAG, you know, so stuff like that. It's hard when there's so many kids to try to keep your footage exclusive. I think Ken definitely made the trip in Zurich enjoyable. Hooked it up good. Right after Switzerland, I leave, take a train back to Barcelona to meet up with the Kansas guys for about a week or so. In the meantime, everybody else goes to Ignition Skate Shop to meet up with super sexy supreme photographer Philip Forstner. They go around to Austria, Germany. Backing up, you know, trying to go to some drop zone or some shit. Just go back up into the car. Ignition party. It's this one building and it's the Ignition skate shop, it's the Ignition bar, and then everybody lives in the floor above. Everything's connected with Ignition. The Ignition party, I mean, I was I was terrified to even see what was going to happen at the Ignition party even before I even got there. I mean, last year, I go to the Ignition party, wake up in the hospital. This year, I'm just, I don't even know what's going to happen. It's such a good event. I mean, these guys, they, they don't have any good ledges in their city to skate, so they just build a ledge outside of their skate shop. They just go buy concrete and build this perfect ledge and have a huge session. Like every kid from the area comes in and they got good music, they got a barbecue, they got a fresh ledge to skate. I mean, it was awesome. Doug and I captured some bikes, went riding around up in the mountains. We tried to go climb this one mountain, but it didn't work so well. Here we are in the Tour de France. Going down to the finish line. For the ignition parties, all that's there is just, only skaters come to the party. There aren't other locals in town. Absolutely. Locals are like 80 years old in the town, so it's, it's just skaters. So you have this whole room full of just crazy testosterone filled Dude, people. What and, it just things go nuts and stuff gets broken and I don't know, it's just the way Ignition is, you have to go there to experience it. I heard they uh, lost their license to have a bar there anymore, so I um, kind of feel a little guilty for 
being part of killing the ignition bar. Hello, welcome to Ignition. I'll be your bartender tonight. Would you like a drink? Yeah, sure. Here you go. You want another drink? All right. Drink up. You too. Yeah, you want to Bar's gone because <laughs> that night. Hi, my name is Leo Donhauser and I'm the owner of Ignition Skate Shop. I'm Sebastian Scholz and I run the Ignition Bar. We just had a chill week with the Mislit Media guys. A good knedel. Knedel with Zagrad and Schwanzbrunnen. Austria, all back. I was, I didn't even know what to expect when we got to Amsterdam. I just expected something crazy and Remy was awesome. He would, every single morning we would wake up to the loudest, most annoying like, song from Amsterdam called What's Covered. <laughs> He'd be trying to sleep in and he would just come in and crank it full blast until we just couldn't take it anymore and had to get up and leave his apartment. It was good staying with Remy because, you know, if you're there on your own trying to find everything, you're going to go to all the same stuff that every tourist goes to. And yeah, you might hit a coffee shop, but it's going to be the lame coffee shop catering to Americans. By staying with Remy, we actually got to go to the actual like exclusive places, go to like the best of the best shops, the places to eat, best coffee shops, best bars. You know, he'd show us where all the exclusive stuff is. I mean, Will was lucky because Danielle got to come through about halfway through the trip in Amsterdam. He was actually going to get to see his girl, but Brent, from day one, is already, you know, playing the sappy little, like, oh, I miss her, I miss her. And, you know, he has to go to shop every day and buy a calling card. And... The only smart way to get around in Amsterdam is by bike. Because everything's so close together. Amsterdam, everybody just rented bikes and cruised around one day and went from spot to spot by bike. A lot of the skaters uh, after a session come to hang out in the Vonda Park because there's lots of uh, lots of Albert Heijns, you know, grocery stores to, to buy cold beer at. Roll up and just check out the honeys and sit in the sun. After this tour, I hate the French, I'd have to say, to be honest, just because of their train system, because every time I have to take a train through France, they'd be on strike, and so you end up, you'll get a train and get all the way to the French border, and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, you can't keep going, you're going to have to stay here tonight, so you end up sleeping in some cold, awful train station. So we get stuck in Brussels for nine hours, we go out, we find a park to chill in, Julian and Gumby just chill on the grass and just basically fall asleep, which in the meantime, Julian gets his cell phone stolen. <laughs> Me and Doug just started wandering around the city trying to find something interesting. So we walk up this huge hill and end up end up at some government building, but they're doing construction. They have this huge crane. And so we're bored and we're like, oh, let's just climb the crane. So we start wandering up some random crane and end up getting really good city views of all of Brussels. And... After Amsterdam, Jeremy was well accustomed to steep staircases. So we end up in Paris at like two in the morning and our place to stay there is falling through. So then, you know, once again, we're stuck with all our luggage at two in the morning trying to find a place to stay. And so we end up getting this, this hotel across the street from the train station, which is like a one room, tiny, just, and we're trying to all cram in there. Everything was planned out so good. And then it's not like one or two things fell through, but everything fell through. So a lot of it was just, we had to just improv it and see what we could find and stay where we could and make it work. and. You know, in hindsight, looking back, you know, it's funny and you can laugh about it now, but at the time, I was just ready to kill each other, I think. The hostel we ended up finding the next day in Paris was called, like, the Woodstock Hostel. It was the most played out hostel. The only good thing to happen out of the whole hostel in Paris is the fact that we got to meet Pink Man, kind of old, an old-time skate video legend himself. He was just out in Paris randomly and randomly walks into our hostel, a guy in a fully pink leotard with a unicycle. 
really only had two days to skate Paris, but things still went good. You know, Bercy's, I mean, it's, it's played out, but it's amazing. It's amazing for a reason. But we still got to go to a lot of good spots in Paris, and I guess the definite downfall of the Paris experience is when Gumby broke his hand. We were at a lot of fence, and he was trying Royal on a big drop rail and slipped off and jammed his fingers back in a bank and it was the same hand that he'd hurt out in California. And so he already had shattered bones in his hands and fell on it again and he was just out of commission at that point. They go to the hospital, they do x-rays and it ends up that when he was in California his wrist was broken the whole time, he had shattered bones in his hand and everything and he didn't even know it and just been skating the whole time, just making it worse and worse. But they said, oh just wait till you get back to the States, don't worry about uh, getting surgery here, you can get it when you get back to the States. So sure enough, he comes back to the States and he gets here, his fingers are tilted off to the side. Doctors here say, you know, there's not a surgery we can do, it's too far developed, it's, you waited too long and you know, his fingers might be scarred for life now. I forgot whose idea it was, I think it was Brent's idea to get a bottle of whiskey. So we're on the train and me and Doug are on one of the train and Julian, Brent and Gumby are on the other end of the train and sure enough, like an hour into the ride, we just start hearing crazy stuff from over on this side of the train and these guys are just getting wasted on the train. Mm -hmm. And uh, Will and his girl have like a bottle of wine and so we're like in the middle, like in between cars having like this awesome party in between Paris and London. That was really fun. What is this, Jane? Um, Waterloo. Turn it into Waterloo. Ten minutes, Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking England and shit, man. I love it. So everything's good, everybody's partying, everybody's having a good time and we get to London, everybody's pretty drunk from the train ride and we show up and we find out that our, our places in London have fallen through as well, and we we're gonna stay with our friend Alan, but he had to, ended up having to come to the U.S., so we couldn't stay there. But it was okay because we'd be able to see, stay with Leon Humphreys, you know, London local. But it ends up that Leon had just fallen on his hand too. He'd broken the hell out of his hand. He's been in the hospital for like the last five days, so we can't even stay with Leon. So again, like in every other city, we get there. We're at the train station. It's two in the morning, we have absolutely no place to stay. And so we're trying to call around and doing whatever we can and we end up meeting a friend of Ollie Shorts. His name's Dave and I think, I don't know, I, I pretty much owe Dave my life. Dave saved everything. Dave saved our lives in London. We're all just hanging out at the spot. And Julian's walking by. Julian like just randomly trips and hits his face on the ground and like and he, he just has a look in his eye like he's so worried, right? And there's like blood dripping from his mouth. We're like, oh my god, he just shattered his teeth out or something. Like it looks so bad. So we're all like panicking. He, he keeps a straight face for about 10 seconds before like busting out laughing and ends up he'd found this blueberry juice that looks exactly like blood. So we start just messing around with the locals, skating like <laughs> the worst amateur you've ever seen. So he'd like clip his foot on a curb in front of people and just smash his face into the ground and blueberry juice would fly everywhere and people were just freaking out like, oh no. The woman's like, oh! And like gets like, she's even more shocked and then he comes over and then starts laughing and then the two kids, the two kids that was with the mum knew what was going on and they were like, mum, just calm down, like he's joking. And Show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna be much better. Sit down, sit down. Ugh. Tough one. You okay? I think I hit my head on those stuff. Look at yeah. me. Alright. Yeah. It's not okay. It's not okay. Take, take you have to. Uh, I just had a bad fall like two days ago. Like sure. Believe me. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Sit down for a minute. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, can you play me a song? I'll get you in a minute. Yeah. 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 Relax. Okay, you want the second one after morning? I would love for one. Thank you. It was me two days ago. That was pretty good landing though. Ah. No, he, he came out that good. Ah. It could have been he, awful. Sit, seriously, sit down for like 10 minutes. Like, take it easy, listen to this guy singing. They're yeah. pretty good. They're quite good actually. Yeah. Well, you know, shit happens. Yeah, shit happens. Shit happens. Stairs, stairs are made, you know. Huh? Yeah, can you give him some lessons? Though? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you want to learn from me. I'm not the best thing you can see. That's what she told me. Yeah, I fall down, bust she my, my, my head. Be riding a bike. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for all your help. That's my man on the sax right there. Slow that sax. Woo!
the day before about to leave. Everybody's, everybody gets to go back home. Everybody's gonna go back. I'm going to Poland and we're all splitting up. So much stuff has gone wrong the whole tour, but it seems like it's just over, you know, we can finally go home. It ends up, Will starts looking for his passport and can't even find his passport. So his passport's gone the day before we're supposed to go to the airport. So he's panicking and has to go to the embassy and get a rushed passport last minute. Tour is nuts. I mean, there's ups, there's downs, you know, awesome skating, some pretty bad falls, some intense moments, but I mean, I'd do it again in a heartbeat for sure. It's one of the best trips of my life. Like, it's something that's not really limited to just someone who's sponsored or, you know, someone who's like a professional going out to film for a video because it's not, it, in reality, it's not like that. It's not like this is some tour where you got sponsored by Sony and by all these companies and they just paid for us to go kick it for a month, you know, like everybody put their own, their own work into it, their own money into it and, you know, just made it what it was. Montre, little Chao Prada G. Chao Prada G. Dre's prodigy. Montre's the man. He's a little, he's a little Dre, Mike Johnson, clone, hybrid. It's nice. Peep the story. Sunny Chiba Gishi Sway. Check it out. Volume one of this joint. I ski in Switzerland, down in Morocco, gambling, handling Beat I fool my crooks back in the BXX, collect wines, Italian designs Quicksilver can paint the canvas if needed, but should it be not? Cause everything goes according to plan So killing them softly, making them copy Blessing the black league, sticking with 40 thieves I dig it bruh, time to conjugate All my delegates to cocker, callable daggers From the tribe of road, and they dime Leader named Sunshine, the load of Falanis Dig it now, rockin' this pocket Blow them that stack, hackin' sack, how Way to Holly, hold this cashmere, satin pro, got the Somali, rose on my mind. In France, I dance by the moon, sailing from Cancun, steaming Vegas lakes, limping with some delegates that put me on. Who weave scarf around my neck, little red Corvette, we got some merchandise to heist. Up in Canada, we right, roll. Right, right. Calling up the diamond delegates, black connection. Hold a sunny diva in the suede, black connection. Got the Bronx, Brooklyn, and the Harlem, black connection. All the tribe, bro, bro, got the back of black connection. Chicks called me up, told me Rose is dying, why you Gigi Sway, me right hand, hold this caravan to retrieve the bread. Harlem Brook BX, kiss the character to snatch the goods. Huggy Bear, put me on to the Wallona head. I got the wire, ignored it, then poured it real slow into Kita's glass. Her radiance, radiance, smiling diamonds, Giorgio splash. The sweet is arousing, caressing Caribbean gems. The squeezing of Jezza is stimulating. Now I'm a bent, blend, Stephanie's. Left for Crystal Rock, I cop the Tiffany. She sniff her on, let her head down, and pace the balcony. I scraped the well, that I have her on the strong for years, but back to the hawk. Who pulling shice maneuvers on my camp, yeah I don't understand what the fuck is up With my man, he eat a bowl of hot cock Now Sunny Chiba, volume one Catch the mighty Jillian Cat Coming out the go-go bar Harvey's over top, mop him up Juke monkey ass Calling up the diamond delegates Black connection For the Sunny Chiba in the suite Black connection Got the Bronx, Brooklyn, and the Harlem Black connection All the tribe, bro, got the back of black connection My huggy bear connect, connect me Cautious, I enter with flame And scorch you by the door Moolah all over the floor time to gather as much as I can, trying not to get blamed. My band is vicious, get messages to Chiba in need of assistance right now. Then I get the rumble on the hip, I hear the fuzz, gotta split. Get my beeps so once over, sweet in town, bridge bound. See the sights, the eyes building up below. This is it, through the corridor, hit the floor, time you pack it up. What you laughing at? Loose cannons, plays my hat the way. Take a lane, into the hallway, vision, Gigi sway, coolie high cat. Back to back, about to see the gates, twist the fate. He's up in the room, let the guns yeah, play. Avoid the penal. In jeopardy with no ammo to blow But me and my ace ain't going out Then less than zero, oh no Then here come the crooks parading by storm With the losers and all We conquer ground as usual Low empire can never fall Yeah, calling up the diamond delegates Black connection For the sunny Chiba and the sway Black connection Got the Bronx, Brooklyn and the Harlem Black connection All the tribe, borough got the back of black connection Calling up the diamond delegates For black connection For the sunny Chiba and the sway Black connection Got the Bronx, Brooklyn and the Harlem Black Connection, all the tribe, bro, bro, got the back of Black Connection. Brother Joe Chink, be a part of Black Connection. Sunny G, Bobby, you got any biscuits for sale in there? We don't serve biscuits. We got a lot of other stuff, though. What you got in there? Ah!
really the fuck. I don't got no need to hit the subsidy. Everybody know about that. They're gonna fucking exclusive. All y'all yeah, they're gonna fuck watch this section. Sit back and relax and watch what you should be doing with the next 10 years, right? Ladies and fellas, I was hella bored, so I pedaled hella hard to a seminar in Zanzibar. Ben and Jerry tennis on, Pat Benatar, riding on my handlebars that I'd gaffled from a scrap metal yard. When it fell apart, I got a rental car with metal lord, lemons, credit card, double parked on the boulevard, front of Cinnabon, won a tug of war with a minotaur. Then I toured the far north on a Portuguese man of war. Santa Claus handed me a catalog, the envelope attached on it, said that you could have it all. So I got an antelope from Manitoba, salad bowl, a catapult, a can of soda, paddle boat, a camera phone, and also a berry mantelo, autograph cantaloupe. In every episode of Solid Gold, the antidote to Babylon and Amazon Hit an acid wash, came a salt, and her friend attack along who looked at all Napoleon When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing Here's the story, folks, totally stoned. I rode the slopes of Mount Holyoke at 40 below. Lo and behold, my homie poked too many hoes in my snowmobile wheels. Now I'm rolling on some bubble leaves with spokes. Send a pony up the dough to get it all green and gold. Mobile ho. Stolen Oreo, a polka roll, some saltines, an overcoat from all green, some corduroy, some sardines, canola oil. All singing, bro, 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 your boat. On and on with Obi Wan Kenobi, Shinobi, and Kobe Bryant, Pokemon, and Pinocchi. Up on the Yoki, Pinocchi Swamp. Over in Portugal, Tokyo, Borneo, and Tony Island with the horny toe. Memorial Orchestra with Mary White. They're exponal lines, more refocus, Obi Wan Kenobi. Every Gordy on Orion and Jones, Tory on Shams, Don Corleone on accordion. Yeah, tomorrow morning we we'll re-record it. Jerome and Morris singing, Oh yeah, we yo. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn. Whoa! Einstein, do it. Bring it back now. I met a hermit named Kermit McDermott with a learner's permit. Curb serpent in a purple suburban, slurping the urban sherbet. Eating the turnip with the words dirty, dirty, written in cursive on his Burberry turban. It was curtains at the circus in Berkeley. Saw a turtle in a girdle, a squirrel with a curl. The world's biggest girl, Earl Urkel swirled in a circle on a dirty gas burgundy Murphy bike. I had some curry rice, a turkey burger, and some curly fries. Tried to return some Mervyn's merchandise in Circuit City. Customer service was certifiably shitty. Courtesy clerk was nervous, kind of twitchy. Had a triangle perp, reminded me of Lionel Richie. Someone blurted out, and when I turned around, observed. Truck turner had the burner out and pointed at a surfer. Mr. Furley burst out the beauty, perler, and curlers in a security jersey. Thermos full of wild turkey. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that thing. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that thing, I do that thing. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that thing. When I do that damn thing, I do that damn thing, I do that thing, I do that thing, I do that thing. Bring it back now. What's up, y'all? This is Lyrics Born. I'm chilling on Black Market, baby. Peace. Lunch and spit out the chain, then kick a lungy off the tip of his timbo and trick a honey dip into a game of strip limbo. Odd, he couldn't find no remorse. A wink is as good as a nod to a blind horse. Of course, his technique was from a divine source. Never knew the price of ice or what swine cost. One guy tried to bite the heat. It's when he discovered the other, other white meat. Oh, the one they hate so well. He sure keeps his cycle like the old Bates Motel. They came to ask him for a lease, some new tracks. But only got confronted by the beast with two backs. Knock. Mouse is a made man. Villain laid it down like the best laid plan. Bell the cat, who the hell is that near the middle? Got y'all, but it's not all bearing skittles. Prepare the vittles. Got riddles and spittles. Crystal clear to the jot or the tittle. It's hot off the griddle. Came to take the cake whether it's a lot or a little. Kaboom. Doom is nervous large. You could tell by his blooming room service charge. Dark and tall to boot. 
The only thing was wrong is he was bald as a coot. Used to ran a van from Peter Pan to Red and Tan and keep the human foot for his dead man's hand. This was when the mask was brand spanking new before it got rusted from drinking all the brew. Stankin' too, pew. Kept all his earnings in the bank in a shoe. Spat what he knew. Energy for true to all fake rappers. 23 skidoo. Excuse you, any room in the class front for a blast of the blunt. Shrooming since last month. Doom a human in the mask, born to stunt. Danger zooming past, mad fast on the hunt. Keep your streets, we got the city neatly conquered. Discreetly with the CD till they be completely bonkered. The fans demanded it, handle it, swallow it. His own brand of shit, if only he could bottle it. Mm, nah, she could get messy. The feds try to torture him for the secret recipe. He said it's no use, I only know half. No speak of the English, I only do the math. Dzz, felt no pain. His brain was saturated with cocaine and Rogaine. He said, try scam, no thing. Three card dead, fly man, go for bling. He got bled, eye jam, over sting. See spots red, I am sofa king. We card Ed. Ed, Ed. Big Willie style. He's cooler than Will Smith because he's big and his name's Will. <laughs> Rock solid, skate anything, and he just kills everything. Yo, PJ in the house, dating your sister. One for the money, two for the show, three for my niggas who got in the back toe, four for the honey dips, five for my bros. And death is my breath, kept in and no flow when it's so slow. You see, my life don't grow, and my raps only collect half so so. Wiffles every word that I write seals my fate Losing every single one of my friends today And it's Kuwait in my mind A continual war chiming in my head Yelling at the past ain't dead But it's alive to wear with many stories to tell Exit one tell only to a new jail Destined to fail the seams And my positivity is trapped in dreams But I gotta let it shine to affect my team I can't go back, gotta press on black Yo, life goes on No matter if your life is tattered And you can't fix what went wrong Life goes on The pattern in your life is scattered You're a hook in your own thing so Life goes on You're a fighter but the grip is tighter And you know that you can't stand long Life goes on Always gonna get brighter Life goes on if ever you're hungry, you should never feel lonely If God is with you If I go know that I will make a return Give me Frankenstein's myrrh, his ashes in the urn But learn life goes on Chant the psalm, I sing Solomon's songs All of them troubles be gone, we life wrong with this I'm sick as rhyme, kicking consciousness And time slipping, that's why I'm taking risks It's us prosecuted without cause The long arm always chases an outlaw Who did nothing to no one They just don't understand who he is, where he comes from But I know, when you're playing their game And stuck on this airplane, you'll always be fair game Survival, you're liable to go nuts But still gotta hold up, I know it gets tough, believe Basement life Basement Breakers, goes on. 2003, no life Pigeon John, John. what went wrong Goes on, the pattern in your life is scattered. You're a hook in your own theme song. Life goes on, you're a fighter, but the grip is tighter, and you know that you can't stand long. Life goes on, oh, it's gonna get brighter. Life goes on, oh, it's gonna get brighter. Life goes on.
What's going on? This is Pigeon John, and you are tuned in to the Black Market. Ah, ah, ah. Tell me the truth about Brent Hicks right now. Uh, <laughs> Brent Hicks? He can't even hear you. He's fucking nuts on the Pringles. Spicy Pringles. Pringles makes him go down. Yeah. Man, that shit is bomb. That's just banging, son. <laughs> Cricket letter, ain't no one better. And when I'm on the microphone, you best to wear your sweater. Cause I'm cooler than a polar bear's toenails. Oh hell, there he go again. Talking that shit. Been on these corners like I was a curve. I struck a nerve. And now you about to see the southern player serve. I heard it's not where you from, but where you pay went. Then I heard it's not what you make, but how much you spent. You got me bent like elbows, amongst other things, but I'm not worried. Cause when we stepped up in the party, like I'm out you scurry, so go get your fucking shine box and your sack of nickels. It tickles to see you try to be like Mr. Pickles. Daddy fat sacks, B I G B O. I is that same motherfucker that took them knuckles to your eye And I try to warn you not to test but you don't listen Giving a shout out to my uncle Donnell Like yeah. up in prison I'll throw your hands in the air And wave them like they just don't care And if you like fish and grits and all that pimp shit Everybody let me hear you say oh yeah I'll throw your hands in the air And wave them like they just don't care And if you like fish and grits and all that pimp shit Everybody let me hear you say oh yeah These computers, they're so naughty and so complex. I'm about to go to Whitewater. I'm about to get down. Yo, stop running. you Yeah. Welcome to Atlanta Water Park Tour, part two. Yo, stop.
Oh my god. Hey, Lamb, one part two. Two. Part two. Fucking knock your teeth down your throat. Go, 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 Barcelona, first real skate day. Actually, first trick even for Julian Ba. Already got laced after the first spot.
In Kansas City, Missouri, last year, a pregnant teacher was mobbed by five young cubs. Primo Tifa Garcia took on the five cops and they killed him. My voice hear my soul, girl.
fucking shit, man! I quit skating! Fuck!
I hope this whole train breaks down So I can take a walk around and See there's no time you see Cause time is just a melody People in the streets walking fast as the feet could take them I just rode through town And though this window's got a view But the flame I'm looking through seems to have no concern for now So for now I got no time that I got to get to where I don't need to be. 